definitely could. I bought a I bought a gaming mouse and. <gasps> oh my uh, god! Uh, I'm recording. I'm recording. I put uh, like I put two buffs buttons. on one button. Banhammer. That's a macro. Check out the. We're, we're gonna have to report you to the police. All right. The train police are coming today. Now Merc can stand in front of Brittany and do macros. Yeah, now I can dance much faster. All right, boys, quiet down this set. What? Jibber jabber. Listening to WRFB Radio Free Britannia, and no other freaking better place in the world than Deltona, Florida. Here you are, lunch with no other than the dynamic duo Laz and Jack. <laughs> This is Laz. This is Jack. Welcome to another edition of Lunch with Laz and Jack, where we interpret the news so you don't have to. That's right. Bringing you our own brand of news five days a week from right here inside Shrouded Avatar. As Jack sucks on his ice over there, making all sorts That's of right. fun noises. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta love it. Gotta Today love it. is Toasty Thursday here. March 2nd, 2017. I'll, I'll just move my drink right here. You just what? <laughs> I'll take drinks like that from oh, now on. Yeah. <laughs> Put your head between your legs. <laughs> just hold Ooh. on, you can't do that, man. The gleam off the top of your head's killing us. It, it's I'm, turn, I'm turning you on. I'm turning you on. <laughs> yeah, let me rub that sexy thing over there. Go oh, on. yeah. <laughs> Soundbite. Soundbite. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Put those, put those in. Save those sound bites. How's everybody doing out there today? Thanks for joining us, everybody. All you guys out there uh, listening on uh, Twitch TV, YouTube, and WRFB. Is uh, Eagle? How you doing? You get all that swag yet out there? You should have received all that by now. Well, that international shipping does take a while, so it may take him a, a few. Actually, a week. it really doesn't take too long. He got his uh, first order uh, right off the bat. Uh, got oh, okay. nice reports, and uh, I guess we'll find out here in a few seconds whether he's gotten the other one yet. Where did go, Kanyada? And, and morning, Blood Omen. Yeah, where did that go? And Eagle. Where, where, what are you talking about? Oh, where he is in the world. Shipping. Where to go? Hmm. I want to say hmm. Belgium. Oh, shit. I'd have to that, that, is that part he, of the he, free He's world? over in Northern Europe. He, he's someplace not close to us, that's for sure. But that doesn't matter. Uh, we reach his corner of the world with uh, NBNN News. And, of course, uh, swag made its way down that way as well, so... Anyway, yep. and he said nothing, nothing yet, nothing, nothing yet. yet. I know. He probably said good morning. Nothing, honey. Go get some coffee in his mug. So, and, and, how and, are and those shipping he... rates? <laughs> yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Arm, arm, and a leg. Uh, yeah, maybe the first born was shipping uh, throughout the world. We've got a pretty flat fee set now, so uh, doesn't hurt too much. Wait, who killed the the? Who killed God, the coral slime already? 
I don't know. And there's Schroeder. Oh, just yeah. can't resist Sing that damn it. corpse explosion, I tell you. Listening to the replays last night, and of course, they're there. They <laughs> boom, boom, boom. Boom. Got, got, got to level up some skills. <laughs> See, see I mean, whereas I lower the game volume so that way it's, it doesn't overpower anything and Touch just the sound effects down. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, so when uh, the sound effects are down and all of a sudden there's a dragon's roaring its ugly head, I don't hear it till I'm dead. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. I mean, th- th- that or you, when you when you're talking about something about like not connected to the actual volume slider, so it doesn't matter if whether or not you've got everything adjusted or not. You know how many volume sliders I have here on my screen right now? Okay, forget about it. Well, <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> That's the Come best on. move I've seen all week. <laughs> the, the, the just getting inside the corpse. <laughs> oh, go for it. <laughs> Yeah, Merck's afraid it's going to swallow him up and uh, ruin his nap there on the lawn. I know. He, he's been consumed by the gelatinous slime. I, that uh, thing swallows? Apparently it does. Uh, it swallowed yeah. Scrota. <laughs> Move over. But that's too funny. Is uh, anybody know where you... Oh, he, oh he's yeah, going, you he's going to take a damp inside now. This is too funny. <laughs> it's too <warm. laughs> <laughs> 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 Is that the equivalent uh, of uh, taking out the lightsaber and uh, gutting your tauntaun so you can sleep see, and keep warm? Uh, see, so the, little... funny, the, the funny part is that this is, I'm surprised Led Zepp hasn't started abusing the other Ooh. emotes as, as far as what can and can't be done. Yeah. He, he, well. he has enough fun with his sheep. He doesn't have to get any more intricate than hey, he is. Hey, hey. sheep out of this. Hey, yeah. Uh, she was oh, a you, minor. Uh, you, you sent Heidi home. Okay, I see. <laughs> Heidi's no longer here. Dustin. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway. Oh, look at Dex over there. Sporting some fancy pimp, oh, and pimp outfit right over there. Yeah, what is that? What is that? Uh, so oh, auction right. swag? Three musketeers. He's got a pimp cane and everything. I'm telling yep. you, he's got the pimp My pimp hand is strong this morning. It is. He's taking uh, lessons from Gix out there. I love the feather, man. The feather cat in the cap, the glowing. That's just that's primo, brother. That's just a nice touch. You know, yeah. funny, funny. The uh, the rainbow dye is the only dye that really works on the feather. So that's a real cool huh. effect. Captain DeKine. Right. Now, what is that secondary on the hat? Yep, that's very cool. Now, it, it looks even better if you examine it and that, or ex- examine Thex, so that way you can actually get it and see the oh, full there you go. rainbow. Because you can move him around to the around. side, and so that way you can actually look right at him. It's time for another drink. <laughs> <laughs> it's about- <laughs> It's about time you came out, Thex. Why'd you forget your pants? Who added these nude statues? These weren't here before, were they? No. What are you talking about? They've They've always been... Nude or new? They're nude. That's right. (laughs) Nude 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 and new. Nude nudes. Yes, we are showing off some of the new deck code that's out there. It's craftable, and uh, thanks to Spiff. And Spiffco, nice. uh, he provided us with some of the new benches and statues to show off that are craftable out there. And of course, cool. you know us. We, we can't turn down nudity. Uh, that's just the way we roll. So. <laughs> <laughs> I had to put you, the you, penis you know statue what? right next to Led Zepp just so he felt God at home. You know? This way he's got some company while he's crying. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Just need a little box of tissues down there, make it all appropriate. But, uh, <laughs> you have to, you have to put the the, the tissues like in the basket. Up. A couple in the basket, and then some inside the box. <laughs> <laughs> all right. What is all this shit around this chair anyway? What's going on here? I don't know. Is, it's it's all Led's all up your, having a fun, fun day. <laughs> yeah. It's a corn cob. Yeah. I think that's what's going to do with that. 
I don't know. How you doing? No idea what you, I have no idea what you've been a, doing. A bottle of oil, <laughs> some nut butter. I don't know. A giant corn. And a long <laughs> stalk of corn. People are sick. <laughs> So, so are, are, we, are, are we ever going to interpret the news today, or are we just going to shoot the show? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> it's it's day, you know. <laughs> Sit back, it's relax, it's have a drink. Uh, whichever way the show takes us today, yeah. it'll What's take What's the point? Hold, hold on. Thirsty Thursday. Thirsty Thursday. That's right. You got them, drink them. That's right. And of course, on Thirsty Thursday, we play the NBNN drinking game. So uh, when we get right down to it here in a minute, uh, we will wait a playing. second. I, I thought we played the NBN and drinking day on every day that ends in day. Well, <laughs> that's for the, the diehards out there. But uh, since Thirsty Thursday is the prequel to the weekend, uh, you know, I push it more on Thirsty Thursdays uh, than during oh, okay. the week. Yeah, we really don't want everybody inebriated Monday through Friday down at the job site, you know. Well, you have to remember that there is the 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 bomber curve. Yes, the bomber so, curve, absolutely. So you you do have to have an yes. appropriate amount of drinks to hit that the programming to pinnacle. Get to the programming pinnacle, the alcohol consumption has to be yeah. on the equal level to get primo programming done, and it's so, just like. It's like bowling, you know. It's like a few beers, you do great. One too many beers, you can't, you can't not gutter it. Uh huh. Beer so, frame. Yeah. <laughs> so we do have the stand-up corner from yesterday. Even though Chaos was nice, kind enough to actually post today's already, but we'll cover that tomorrow. <laughs> so this is the stand-up corner from mm. yesterday, March first. Remember, today is the second. Unless you're watching this in repeats, in which case I have no idea what day it is. What day it is? I it's know. Insane. It's insane. You're killing me, lads. You're killing me. Killing okay, me so involved. don't forget, uh, Stand Up Corner is where the devs sit, sit there and say, hey, I worked on this yesterday. I'm working on this today. Something random gets written down, and we get to interpret it at some point in the later. So yesterday in the art department, Bob the Builder. Cult of Bob. He's been working on a lot of a lot furniture. So much furniture, it's insane. Now, we need to go over the, the rules of a lot. There is a space there. Yes, a lot is uh, a yeah, lot two different words. It has a space. All right, Professor. Hey, well, it's, yeah. You're it's talking not to the Alan. English teacher over here. That's what I should have pronounced it as. The Alan grammar, or furniture. The grammar Nazi. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, we've, we've done whole I just, shows I just, just on grammar. I just <laughs> interpret the news. Okay, so new guy, Damon. New guy, Damon Walker. FNG. He's working on the flower leaf visual effects as he flowers. Yeah. <laughs> flowers. Flower leaf. Flowers. I want to be cheerful and gay, <laughs> jumping and casting <laughs> away flowers. I, are you going to start feeling, Heart. singing, I feel pretty, oh so Heart. pretty? <laughs> Maybe once we have the emote, I don't know. Okay. We'll have to see. Okay. Laz likes to frolic. Yes. Yes, he does. I, I, I enjoy frolicking as well. Um, and I like to press wild flowers. Oh, oh yeah. Right. Uh, then uh, Damon was also working on <laughs> game flowers, polish, <laughs> and confetti eggs. Confetti because he's going to go find Laz's head and he's going to go splat. <laughs> you don't want to do it on mine because uh, the eggshells might cut something. Uh -huh. There's no padding. No, no hair padding. Okay, Fletcher. Fletch lives. Working on R40 integrations and vile weapon planning. Vile weapon planning. Hmm. Vile weapon planning. Yes. So Kevin working on the Kabbalist equipment and skin mappings. Kabbalist skin mappings. I know. He's got this extra skin flap and he's trying to figure out what to do with it. Snip it off. That's right. <laughs> the almighty Gix Vargach, otherwise known as Matt Psh 
He's trying to figure out how to become the drowning man. Dead in the water. That's right. Dead in the water animations. It, it's generally face down. Kind of hard to drown face up. Um, and bugs. Bug. Well, and if you got a bottle of tequila. Yeah, that's, that's fine. Oh, yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. He just needs the, the autopsy pictures of uh, uh, <laughs> Jim Morrison. <laughs> now, hold on. Poor Jimmy. No, no, no. You Poor Jimmy. You over for that. Oh, oh I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it, and he's also working on on the, the emote that's going to get abused on this show, which is Ooh. Boo! Boo! That's right. No, they changed Boo to Scare, right? And then this that's one's right. going to be the Boo! Boo! I thought you were going to say Booty Slap. Well, yeah, well that's the oh, yeah. that yeah. supposed to be working on. He's supposed to be working on it. He's supposed to be working on it. Um, then Reed is working on the one-handed and two-handed right. weapons as decorations. So pretty soon we'll actually have that plus placeable deco for those weapons, so, which will make yeah. lots of people happy. I had a which question means that Zeke asked me yesterday. He comes blazing into the channel and goes, So when are we going to get uh, weapons and clothes and shit as decoration? <laughs> and of course, did you, I, did you say him, I says, weapons 40? in the progress. <laughs> clothes and shit, we don't know. Yeah, so... Uh, there yeah. it is for you, Zeke. Weapons are being worked on, as I told you, as decoration. Yep. As decoration. Clothes and shit, I don't know about that. I do know that we love this shit, though. So Yeah. So over in the art or design department, we had B. Cotton. B. Cotton. No C. Cotton. No C. Cotton. <laughs> work, work, work Maybe on C. the D. R. Cotton. 40 pounds. <laughs> Led Zeppelin just wants the D. Yes, yes. yeah, I know. Double we're going to skip the C Double and D. go right to the D for Led Zeppelin. Uh, sea Wolf. Sea Wolf. Working on Serpent Spine's mine lower areas and breakaway traps. Ooh, breakaway. Breakaway traps. It's going to be like, you know, things that break away and fall on you. You, uh -huh. you, you know what? You, you're going to you're going to have to cut the rope in order for that that blade to start swooping and doing the pendulum thing. Mm. The pendulum blade is going to be coming. You just have to cut the rope. Or put the candle underneath the rope. Burn the rope. That's right. Ooh, I like I, that. Everything I ever learned from cartoons so dan <laughs> when are we gonna have the thousand pounds that's, <laughs> that's, that's gonna be coming remember that that's what you get for wearing the lord british cloak is the random anvil that's drop. what comes flying down <laughs> the random anvil drop acme anvil that's right uh dan is working on the torch economy and torch interactive economy. What the hell? and Amen. player home ladders what used by like? npcs I mean, it, it, based off of yesterday's stand-up corner, I mean, I mean, not yesterday's, but the day before. So, what on yesterday's show? Is it, way too many people working on fucking torches. What the hell? Is that? <laughs> torch like, yeah. economy. It what is torches? You, it was like the black market for carrots when carrots first became available. Now torches burn out. Now there's going to be an economy for torches. Oh yeah, to I mean, it's going to be fun. What? Uh, 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 yesterday has got a light spell. Yeah, yeah exactly. Like or night vision. So that way you can see everything in green. Don't want to spend the time. <laughs> I personally hate the light spell. That's just me. I bought myself a torch yeah, of Jerry. I just don't it's like torches are expensive. I don't like that big ball of light floating in front of my face as I'm trying to watch. I mean, I got enough on my screen. I can't watch the action when I'm fighting because I'm too busy with this damn combat bar. Let alone I got to look to see whether I got light above my head and worry about that. Crying out loud. <laughs> Ooh, somebody has well, a problem. That's the problem. That's the problem. That's the problem. See, uh, See, you also have to remember that uh, Laz also has CRS disease. <laughs> hey, now. Hey, now. I, so, so it's uh, he, he forgets to cast the light until it's like 
That's why I have oh, a cloak. Yeah. Very simple. <laughs> Never have to worry about it again. Constant light source. Yeah, that's right. So, so, so quit what, bitching about everything. When, when those <laughs> came light, out and I cloaks, saw those uh, light sources, and I made sure I had plenty of light sources for all my characters. Laz, you have a hang up on that light, man. I even do. if we're not even if we're not on camera, you walk up to Laz and you have that light on, he'll be like, Turn that turn light off, turn that light off. Damn light. <laughs> that, that's when you need to source. party him and cast it so it gets cast on him as well. I don't like it either. That's why I like well, I like the torches. Now of course they, they they went ahead and they thought they were gonna go ahead and make everybody happy and they answered some had some fancy animations a couple of months ago. And the backlash from that was insane. And of course, uh, within like a day, we went back to the regular glowing ball because you know, people people are just still, again, I, I don't think, I think it shouldn't be a ball. I think it should be just like any other light source. When you cast light, you just get a glow around you that gives you light. You shouldn't have this ball floating above your head. It's, you know, I don't know. Hey, I know. You should it's, write it's, a paper on this. Yeah. I know. It, it, provide oh, a solution wait, and then wait, submit wait, it to Wait till we get to the wolves topic. Wait, wait till we get to that <laughs> one. We'll have some fun with that one today. So. <laughs> the, the only problem is we're never going to get through the stand-up corner because we're still on. That's uh, all right. Yeah. We'll get to the wolves tomorrow. Where are we going? We, Eventually. You know, yeah. On, you know, I mean, we'll, we we'll get to it after the show. We're It's March. You realize yeah. our two-year anniversary is coming up within weeks here um, and uh, that will mean officially two years of non-stop NBNN uh, broadcasting here through Shadow the Avatar and uh, bringing you guys the latest news. We're going to be starting our third year of broadcasting. Who would have thunk? I tell you. Giveaways! What are we giving away? We're giving away all your sheep and we're going to make you an honest we're giving man, away put pants to... on you, teach you how to wear <laughs> pants and make you a social citizen. <laughs> make me do what? <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> See, what, what, what we're really going to do is we're going to invest in the ball gag and strap it straight to Led Zepp's head. <laughs> and torches. You know, I got to pay for that? Torches. Yes, you do. Don't yes. forget, <laughs> you got to invest heavily I in torches. <laughs> Then after that, don't forget that Dan is also working on the player home ladders used by NPCs. Oh, boy. Sanyo was working on devotionals and Estguard NPCs and go. nested prefab updates. Lum the mad. Lum the mad. Artifice and the Lord British review. Uh-oh. Lum's up for review. What are we going to do to these children? What are we going to do to these children? <sighs> eat them. And eat them all. Elephants. Elephant. Oh, that's a weird combo. Elephant. Hmm. Elephants. Hmm. What was Justin's safe word? I forgot. Hmm. Pineapple. Where's my elephant? Where's yeah, that's my right. Elephant. Sorcerer Steve. <laughs> Still trolling the underground areas for Led Zepp. Uh oh. One moment, please. What is Trav my elephant? Travis working on bugs. Bug. No, wait, hold on. Bugs. Had to take a drink. And the fall and playtesting the rise. Over in tech, we had Bobby working on Mac uh, builds automaton. Automation and maps and chat reports. Yeah, the Mac's getting a little bit of love. Map time. Yeah, I, and well, I, I keep on looking for automaton instead of automation. I'm looking for automaton every yeah. time I'm, I'm reading it. So Eric is working on siege battles and NPC emotes and movement bugs. Bug. JY. He's on GUI. Gooey. On gooey. gooey. I know. And code reviews. The Deathbringer, or I'm sorry, Wizard Smoke. He's, he's been puff puff past the NPC chat UE <laughs> updates and asset bundles. He said asset. Uh oh. The Deathbringer, one and only, working on network performance. 
so that Jack can patch on his patcher that he doesn't need, but puts himself through hey, rigorous did you like, stress did, testing did, nonetheless. Damn Skippy, man, because <laughs> I, I am waiting for that day where that connection from from Steam goes down again, and I'm going to be all set. And you're going to be the guy with the patch. And I'm going to be in the game by myself, <laughs> laughing at the rest of us, <laughs> laughing at you and saying, told you, motherfucker, yeah. told you. After that 12 hour download now uh, we'll get exactly. we'll touch we'll touch on that topic right after we finish well, uh, 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 well then you also have to remember there's been days where or times where it's been two three days downloads it's like i felt like i was back in dial-up hell yeah, trying to you. get into a, a beta <laughs> all of a sudden the cable connection drops and it's like the, no! the patcher is fixed. the patcher is fixed supposedly Yes, we'll 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 touch on that once we finish the uh, stand up here. We'll we'll talk yeah, about well, what Chris had to say and all that good stuff. If you look at um, before before the picture of the yield chastity device inside of the Discord chat, you can actually see a uh, screenshot that I posted of the patcher uh, where I was downloading it almost 14 megabytes a second, which is makes me happy. Uh, then after that, um, the burning toad. The burn. Scratching the itch that is known as builds and function tests. Tassilo working on store updates and store refactoring. Hey, couple people made it to QA to yesterday. The Attenwood was working on sanity testing and forms and regression. And Serafino is working on customer service. That wonderful customer service. Serafino uh, delivers. That's right. The useless overhead group. We had the Dippy Bird working on bugs and bug. performance and patch direction. Hutch was working on cobalt fences and oh. weapons cleanup and additions. Lord British hanging out in California, GDC and going general back. business. Uh, that's what I'm talking about. So going back to Cali. Going back to Cali. Going back to Cali. Yeah. Going back to Cali. Cali. No, I don't think so. Yeah, he did, <laughs> and he he became an official. Mark, thank you for UDIC that. Thank you for that member. because I don't think Laz understood that one. <laughs> what from the song? I missed so, it too. What? What did you miss? He's got it. He's on top of it. <laughs> he completely ignored it though. We'll give him a pass. It's all right. Free pass this time? Uh, what what do you mean I ignored it? it? I'm the one who keyed it for crying out loud. <laughs> <laughs> he set it up, I knocked it down. There you go. Jeez, you guys are killing me. Yeah. yeah. Who's the old fart around here? Who's the guy who doesn't nice. remember half of the 80s? Well, at least I was there. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I was he there. Well. Born there yeah. was he? Yeah. No, you I was were just a wee baby. bit younger, my friend. Uh, you aren't hey, running man. around Manhattan's Greenwich Village hanging kid, out in rug the rat. clubs, watching the punk rock <laughs> craze come up, watching big hair in the 80s, working working yeah. in light clubs like that shit, you know. Big yeah. bells, big hair. <laughs> oh, yeah. Jack and I were watching He-Man. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> yeah. They were watching the yeah. Thundercats, I know. Yeah. yeah. That's right. <laughs> yes, I, I was watching some cartoons in the 80s. Yes. Hey, I still watch cartoons, and so do you, I'm sure. It, uh, I've got the Smurfs on DVD somewhere. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> they got new cartoons nowadays. <laughs> really so going back to this. <laughs> going back to this, we do have also Lord British working on community and press and missing playtesting. Because he wants to be playing the game. And last but not least, we had... Uh, Chaos working on patch notes and flash sale sales data prep and IT it's and customer service and it's weapon it's direction decorations. Yeah, he's all over the place. I know. It's, and that's what our devs were working on yet or said they were working on in yesterday's stand up corner. Right. Whether or not they did any of it, it's, it's completely, completely <laughs> beside the point. Yes, uh, just to let you know, yes, this is not a fig tree of your imaginations. We are actually live. You've caught a live well, show. No, 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 no. Sorry. Um, it's it's live unless it's a replay. That's right. Unless it's a replay. That's <laughs> it's live unless it's a replay. Unless you see replay across the screen, right across the date there area, letting you know that it is a replay. 
And, and the, the easiest way to tell is if you join us in Discord and you see a bunch of people there and occasionally people like typing in like dot fart. <laughs> well, dot the easiest way to tell is that we're only live uh, one hour yeah. a day between huh? noon and one. So if it's not between noon and one Central Standard Time, we're not live. It's pretty oh. simple. It's only one hour, five days a week. Rustic's having a seizure there, man. Somebody go help. Yeah, Scrota's having some problems there. Vitral is saying dot What are you doing, Scrota? <laughs> Scrota's taking us on a walk. He's going to take us and show us the farm now back. <laughs> well, I, well, I, I like how he's got the lean going on. Yeah. Uh, yeah, let's talk about that patcher real quick because, uh, again, uh, Zeke had mentioned, he says, man, I was an update to this patcher. I told him, my man, I haven't used the patcher in ages. Now, uh, going back to Tech Talk Tuesday, uh, there was mention from Chris that uh, they don't care for the patcher the way it is. They're going to be probably ditching that for something new here in the future. And... Uh, of course, we have, uh, let's get this post over here from Jack earlier. Now, yeah, I'm copying upped, the image right now. You said he's up the actual speed or that you were just able to get a... Uh, no, well, that, so that was just a random time frame where I was patching the game just because I like to patch it all up. You like to sit just there in case and watch Steam goes to bar go for two days instead of just damn. Exactly. It, well, it, m most of the time it's when I'm sleeping, just because, and then I have to cancel it so that way I can yeah. get into Steam and everything else. Otherwise, I, I end up with the error message that says, "Hey, this megabits. isn't going to work." So, it, it, nearly 14 wow. megabits during wow. the screenshot. Um, so, wow. the the patching time was significantly reduced on the normal pat game client patcher that compared to steam what uh, happened is uh we were in in the general soda discord last night chris just randomly comes in and says i fixed the patcher and was like what <laughs> chris, yeah. and he's like, so, huh? didn't so know he, there was a problem said, with the patcher right Jesus. well so supposedly you know the it's not really patching necessarily that takes a long time it's the download their Absolutely. torrent download, their peer-to-peer -peer isn't working or whatever. He says he's fixed it, so... I don't use yeah. peer-to-peer. -peer. And then, but, like, normally if you have the, the Steam client open and you're trying to patch, you end up with an error during update at uh, the game instance is currently yeah, it's running. Yeah, trying to hit the same... Yeah. Time. Well, again, well, uh, that's one of the conundrums we were trying to figure out. Is they're installed in completely different... Uh, yeah. directory so I have really? no clue why that's happening and steam runs through its own back end to patch and the patcher does whatever it does now if they're yeah, going the to the same the place um, we don't know that but even then it, if I had three different directories or three different installs they should all run simultaneously because they're reading from different locations they shouldn't all yeah. go oh well but uh, apparently there's some kind of hook that says, oh, this is running. I cannot run a duplicate instance. I could hazard, I guess, somewhere on the API level of Windows, it's making sure, even though it's going to different directories in the end, it's checking to make sure those two different calls aren't getting called. At well, the same see, time. we still have the problem of I log in on my account. I gain some skills. I log out. I log into a different account, and those skills show up as gained on my other account. So something's not talking right there. So, yeah, um, Zeph was just talking about that today. He comes in, and now all of a sudden, he's got all these skills stacked up on the sidebar from his other character. So, uh, oh yeah, yeah. <clears throat> now moving right along, we had a uh, question out there that I found uh, a little bit on the funny side but uh i thought it what was are, you are you talking about the the missing piece of gear from the game no i was talking about the wolf question damn and you're cutting up all over the place mm, yeah 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 don't yeah, hear nothing you. listen I, to I, the stream Wait, where, 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 where did where did Lats go look what you did zip why'd you do it it's all saying, now you're 
Wow, you really cut out. Did you say something? I, we didn't get it. Did you find the wolf wolf post? Oh, I wasn't looking for the wolf post. I was yeah. looking at the 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 chastity device. Oh man! <laughs> you gotta take your eyes off of it, don't you? Uh, he can even he, he can he, hear well, you. I'm, visualizing I'm to, himself modeling I'm trying to in think. the mirror. Yeah, it's like yeah, no. See, I'm. I think we need so something for someone else. So the the post of if wolves are aggressive, why do why they run? Do they run. And of course, uh, real, this real is asked short all the time. and sweet. Sort of curious. Well, is this all is what one. He says this is one where I I actually think that as far as that mechanic, the wolves running away when they know that they can't eat something would be is good. And then as soon as they get a pack mentality that's when they all attack as a pack i i have no yeah. problems with that now, part of the ai i was gonna i say, found it one well once one goes they all go is uh, yeah i've watched and i've i've looked at this mechanic because at first i had the same uh same thoughts i says you know why is it i run in, and i come up in the wolves and i want to attack it and the wolf runs away well I, and i sat down and i really rationalized this out over time was that and the lower level wolves of course realize that they have no chance you're human you're big scary they run away but what i've realized is it's not only um instinctive nature to protect itself but it also gets the pack mentality well if i go get the pack yeah you know, we can fight but now the next thing is not only that it's a freaking trap you go, oh, yeah. wolf is running away, so you go chase wolf, and wolf brings you right into the pack, and then you're molested by 20 wolves. Um, so it's yes, actually a pretty interesting mechanic when you really look at it and follow what's exactly happening there. Yep. Cornelius, so I, 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 I actually enjoy that landing. behavior because it's annoying at times. I mean, extremely annoying when some wolves will actually attack and others will run away and so you don't end up knowing what's going on so it becomes really really kind of cool well and, oh, and that one has got five hit points left you got hot five hit points left and it runs away i thought you were I... going to get coffee go get coffee back. yeah go, go get back. coffee i mean yeah, light and sweet yeah, my i need a drink it, okay <laughs> light and sweet how about whipped it's a light and sweet yeah <laughs> Otherwise, butter. as regular. <laughs> Give me a regular. Uh, see, yeah, see that that's where I, I'm sure that you want the the full on jar of fluffer nutter. Yeah, what happened to your music? Oh, you got me smalls. Two and a half. I don't hours know. I, 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 yeah, the the song file killed, died. Vitreous diabetes. Or I'll, I'll hit play. Diabetes. Yeah. I hit play just for you. Okay. Thank you. All right. Wow. Well. Let's yeah. let's and just give us some that. tips. Yeah, that's all we do is give you the tip. Use trip, it. root, sweep, ice arrow. Crowd but, control, noobs. But, uh, that's right. I thought it was an interesting Learned question, something. and of course uh, we got a couple of, uh, of course, uh, one one comment from Brickback goes uh, an amazing question, uh, and the answer is not a good one, is because. Portalarium wants them to, but uh, again, as I've seen the mechanic and work um, and function, it's 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 a trap. Don't do it. It's a trap, just like everything well, else. I, if you also look at a little bit further below with Renix post, with uh, uh, most animals will run away from you before they decide to attack you unless they are hungry or defending territory. So that behavior is legitimate. Also, if they are below your adventure level, so their name appears green, they often run away since you are big and scary. That's what if, I said. If their name is yellow or orange, they will most likely attack you on sight. And if there are a bunch of them nearby, the pack mentality can kicks in and they all come for you. Good. I hadn't okay. read that, but that was just my, that was my observation yeah, yeah. of it. But yes, uh, uh, but absolutely a great question because... Uh, Yep, a lot of people don't think about how these mechanics work. Uh, I saw another one, and this one makes me laugh. Uh, just real quick. Hey, what's what happened? It's, I used to be able to solo the troll, and now I can't. Hmm. Oh yeah, huh? So yeah, you, what's up? 
Hey, you think you were supposed to be able to solo that troll? I used to be yeah. able to well, solo a dragon, now I can't. Uh, level 90, you should be able hey, to, I it, think. It, hey, I used to be able Hello. to solo uh, a certain forest with a bunch of elves and make like 30,000 yeah. gold an hour. What happened? Is, uh, I used oh, to be able to solo hilt without a problem, but now I can't get past the front entrance half the time. Yes, uh, again... I know we haven't said this in a while, but uh, I'll bring it back up for those of you guys who might be new around here, might not understand what's going on, uh, don't understand no. the, the jargon as it may be, but yes, the game is in development and things are not finished. This game is going to require you to put time in, to put energy in, to put thought in. Basically, it's going to require you to work on your character. So if you're not looking to invest time, energy, and do the work to get the rewards, this is probably not going to be the game for you. Well, seven Which days a week is a little ridiculous, don't you think? Yeah. No one should ever be able be to like solo a dragon, regardless of uh, level. That's an option. I yep. don't know what Scott said, but... Yeah, well, you got it. Did, you, did you hear that? Did he cut out? <laughs> Dragons are big. No, I just ignored that, it. That was from uh, Rustic, and Rustic says, According to Kickstarter, you're a Lord British. No one should ever be able to solo a dragon regardless of level, is what he said. Yep. And yes. Is, yeah, uh, back <laughs> I kind of expected that, yeah. Back in the day, we I used to run a you know, UO shard, and people you know said, Oh, yeah, let's go, go tame, kill dragons. And... As a game master, me and the other admins decided that no, I'm sorry, but a dragon should make you piss your pants, shit your pants, and turn around and run. Not go, let me pull out my sword, walk up and try and solo it. Dragons should make you want to run but, and scream. But we were talking about trolls. But I have dragons. this awesome dragon lance. What am I going to do with it? Yes, well, yeah. You're gonna you're gonna put it in the catapult, and and you're gonna send it flying and hit that exact little spot underneath that scale to get it right in the oh, heart. Oh yeah. yeah, saw that movie. Or or you can do a Leroy <laughs> Jenkins and jump right down the thre dragon's and throat. Die. <laughs> and die. Get get lodged between its teeth. Or yeah. <laughs> or cause it to choke to death. And yes, that's the, right. that's the ultimate sacrifice. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I, I caused it to I caused the dragon to choke so to death. I've always been of the outlook that yes, a great dragon should cause you to shit your pants, turn and run, not go here, dragon. Would you like? Yeah, to we were be talking my about friend? trolls, though. Yeah. But that's a well, throwback back to you, well, yeah. But even trolls. I mean, if you think about it, they should. I mean, the myth mythology of trolls is not the same as the trolls that are in game. The trolls in game are manufactured by the obsidians, or they were, out of multiple humans, and so they are pieced together. So that's where they're the big hulking beasts. They're not the the trolls of myth, where troll they bridge. regenerate and Under you have the to troll, troll, troll. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or, okay. yeah. Although there are a few. There are a few bridge trolls in game. Yes, yeah, we, we've got a noble chat. The trolls in the game, and they're not in PCs, but that's another, another whole topic of discussion. Yeah. But, so, uh, I thought that was funny. I thought it was a couple interesting things out there. Yes, this game's going to require you to put a little thought into it, and uh, this will also touch on the bluish glow around the characters that was just added in this past release. That. Everybody well, remember that about. was temporary. That's supposed to be temporary. We and we we yeah, shall we wait. Shall. And, yeah. and the and the and Gix is working on yield. Come hither, look come hither. for uh, for the uh, NPCs. I, I want to know when we're gonna work on the bound to chick to bound the bound look. You know, and you can actually you know forget about the come hither look. You know, so I want to get down and dirty here. Uh, well, know, the, the come hither look leading to the back alleys should be a, a close approximation. Mm. Hey, 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 you can actually get multiple people in a bed. Um, <laughs> I would like <laughs> a, 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 a sit 
fit into one bed. I, 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 I think that's more of an allure for a back alley Sally who's going to lure you back there and then waylay you and take all your gold. All the turns of the day. The story in yeah. itself. I don't know. Uh, I've got a spare kidney. I, I don't need it. <laughs> Wake up in a work, work up in a bathtub full of ice. ice. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> what happens? <laughs> this is not my beautiful house. <laughs> Rice. <laughs> this is not my beautiful house. Uh, <laughs> That's right. Oh yeah. Yes, yeah, so it is uh, about time for us to uh, start moving it along. Uh, Deck Dex, do we have any uh, updates uh, that we need to get out there? Uh, ASAP for the folks here. Are we still just chugging along? We're on day four auctions closing today. Yep, that's right. Day four is uh, closing today, and uh, we've just been working on keeping those audits going and getting everybody to pay and all that good stuff. So that's all the news I have. Things are going well. Prices yes, are and, uh, definitely uh, uh, hitting hitting the mark. And again, I know we've surpassed a number. I'm not going to ask you for final number because I know we got a big reveal coming on the telethon. So just, yep, that's uh, right. Just want to remind people that there are still auctions open. Uh, for the Iron Maiden Chemo Relief uh, Charity. And uh, for those of you folks who spent and donated over $100, you're eligible for these auctions, and they are running through Sunday, I believe. Let me just double-check that through Sunday. Lots of stuff out there that's been going on and uh, selling. There's some great, great, great deals out there, but the big-ticket items are going to be closing Sunday, folks. So uh, go out. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, the yes. big stuff. Uh, and again, I haven't looked since the other day, but uh, the Metropolis and that uh, Lord of the Manor package, uh, premium prices for some great stuff out there. So I'm uh, going to wait, wait to see what the final tally is in the end. Uh, well, I mean, th there's such great prices that a Dark Star metronome, I think, is going for $4 right now. Wow. Right I, now. Right now. And that's actually right in the music right pack that actually it's up to $27. But still Ooh, the fact that raised it. within within the the music pack is the Dark Star Metronome and as well as the Ether Amplifier and Automaton and a phonograph. But the, the fact that that Dark Star Metronome is in there I think someone Absolutely. finally realized what that actually is and how rare that is because that was only available to people that pledged during the Kickstarter. Now, we got a comment We're from supposed to be. Uh, SB Jones out there. It says, you can turn the blue glow off. I didn't see that as an option. Uh, he says, perhaps it should have been off by default. Um, I didn't realize there was an option. I was just going through uh, those settings just a little while ago myself yeah, because well, the, the, that that yeah, the hot bar yeah, is still uh, showing up here. And even though I've got else. auto hide on, I, I don't know if anybody's reported that as a bug. I will look at that later on. But uh, you know, auto auto hide hot bar. And now the hot bar is static. Uh, is still pissing me off. But that's. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's, yeah. that's another <laughs> in my list. <laughs> and then, your, uh, your list keeps on growing. And, yeah, well, at least I don't put it in a binder format like somebody does, but uh, pretty documents, I know. What, what are you talking She's going she's gonna to punch you in the Yeah, well, the well balls. we'll talk on her show tonight. She's going to be on the air. We'll talk about that it's momentarily all, as well. It's all good. It's all and good. then, of course, uh, he also commented that... Uh, you know, he hopes that they would change the banks to default to the local bank. So instead of searching everything every time you open the bank, it only opens the default by default. Uh, yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, you know, I think yeah. I think that'll happen again. We had some optimization. Uh, I believe it was last release, not this past release, but 39 or 38, where they optimized that a little bit. And remember. Uh, Pre-release, we do not have all the optimizations in. All that good stuff is not uh, all, you know, all done yet. So, uh, we, and again, if uh, it's not something that's been submitted, drop that in the forums as an idea, and maybe we can get that changed. But meanwhile, time to move on and give you guys uh, the updates for today's calendar. 
What's going Today's on calendar is the world? brought to us by nbnn.info, where you can always click on that button that says calendar. calendar, and then it turns green and it becomes really relatively easy to read. Um, then don't forget all times on the community calendar are central standard time in the real world, but we prefer to refer to it as new Britannia new time and Britannia time. that's right and not only that it is an aggregate of multiple public cal google calendars related to shroud of the avatar shroud <gasps> wow the avatar. that's right and so we do have a vip tickets still available for sotacon austin don't forget that those vip tickets include a guided tour of the portalarium studios by none other than lord british Yay. Yay! If you know that you're not going to be able to attend SotaCon in October and you want the cloak associated, you can always make a donation to SotaConAustin.org on the website, SotaConAustin.org. And early bird tickets are still ongoing until April Fool's Day. Get them while they're hot. April Fool's. May I play, sir? Oh, yes, you may. Hold on. Let me, let me click over uh, there. Now it's your turn. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh, I think dun, the, the sync play is bugging again. Uh-oh. You're going to have to hit escape and restart it. Uh, today at noon, 3, 6, and midnight, there are two idiots... Me... Yeah. They don't know what they're doing as they misinterpret the news and misinterpret what's written right in front of them on a show called Lunch. Lunch. Idiots. With, with Laz with and Jack on WRFB. WRFB. Today at 4 on Avatars Radio, Golden Wing is going country Gone at 7 country. At 7 p.m. If you're interested in some PVE, you can always join the uh, Phoenix Republic for PVE nights. Just contact Kays and Phoenix Fire or Malhari for more information at 7 p.m. on WRFB. WRFB. Or the 70s at 7. A little throwback for all you guys out there. At 8 p.m., if you're an Ultima Dragon, you may be interested in what the Hearth of Britannia is doing with the dragon's meat. Just go to hearthofbritannia.com to join in or to watch. It's also broadcast on YouTube. Yay! Yay! Hearthofbritannia.com, where everything involves a hearty belch. Because I prefer coming out the top than the bottom. Yeah. Whoa! Ooh, yeah. 8 p.m. on WRFB. WRFB. This just in. Justin is taking over the airwaves for unmedicated schizophrenia part do. Do. Do, do. Do, do. Oh. Yeah, that's right. At 9 p.m., if you're interested in some PvP. Yeah, you can get it. Oh. I'm waiting for it. Yeah, set, set it up. Q. 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 Yeah, it's a Q. Q. You need to go to the town of Finchfield and contact Pestilence for the Gladiator Wars. Registration lasts between 9 and 9.50, and the battles begin promptly at 10. At 10 p.m. on Avatars Radio. Penis. <laughs> Ember Flames taking over the airwaves for Temper Tantrum T Days. And the last event of the evening is going to be on WRFB. WRFB. Radio Free Britannia. With the record room. And that's our community calendar for this Thursday, March 2nd, in Shroud, Shroud of, of the Avatar. The Avatar. <laughs> Stop being avatarded. That's Led Zepp. It's not me. It's oh. Led Zepp's fault. And oh, yes. Course, it is. Uh, somebody just popped in and mentioned that there are only two 
of those VIP two. tickets left. Two. Two. And, and uh, Vitralis said, for the dragon's meet, you, er, you don't have to be a dragon to join. Yes, because that's there's... right. You do not have to be a dragon to attend, uh, tune in, or listen to that. But uh, if you... That... If you did want to become an Ultima Dragon, you just have to go to go Google search Ultima Dragons Internet Chapter or UDIC. That's right. And fill out the form, and then they'll say, Welcome. Now, of course, uh, real quick, uh, we did have an announcement from the Heart of Britannia just a couple days back, and that was the announcement that registration for Hobloth 4 is going to be opening up here real soon. Now, uh, I'm not going to go into times and dates. Uh, we'll sit down and we'll talk with Rustic and uh, we'll go ahead and get all that information together. We'll get that together for tomorrow's show and uh, we'll start uh, letting you guys know that we're coming closer to registration opening for Hobloth 4. I, I'm looking forward and I'm, I, I, I hope I that I'm allowed you. to participate again. Is, uh, Hobloth 3 was absolutely a whole load of fun. Come on now, guys. You're killing me again. Well, you are dying to a zombie. Yeah, well, yeah. I shouldn't be dying to a zombie sitting in my seat during my show. Wah. <laughs> wah, wah, wah. <laughs> they all like to attack you. I know. So, so what's the oddball thing you here? Hearth of Britannia. What's Something the of the hearth. Uh... Each one is themed. Each one is different. So we can't tell you exactly what Hobloth 4 is going to be like. They go in the video interviewing that. again? Of course. Rustic. You, yes. You have to be vetted. And uh, Damn, again, I don't have a uh, camera. Rustic, Rustic does drive a tight ship out there. So, you don't have uh, a camera, man. Well, I mean, you don't have a camera. Don't you? I don't have a camera. Lies. You got, you got a cell phone? Yeah. Nope. Nope. That's right. Episode. He's he's got a real push button phone. It's got a flip phone. <laughs> well, he, no, actually, he's got a little dial phone. Is what it's he's got, it's got, he's got the big button phone. You know, it's, uh, yeah. for those guys. He who has can't to call see the operator. It's a throwaway yeah. drug phone, man. Oh, oh, oh yeah. he's got throwaway. Yeah. 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 He, he's got the hand crank. <laughs> no. no, he's well, got the coconuts okay. from uh, Gilligan's Island. He's got the coconut. Oh, the coconuts and the string. Yeah. Anyway, moving right along, NBNN is a proud sponsor of SodaCon Austin 2017. And if you'd like any information on SodaCon Austin, please uh, go out to SodaConAustin.org and uh, check out the information there. If you uh, don't see what you want out there, go ahead and get in touch with me and I will go ahead and point you in the right direction so that uh, you will get all the information you need from uh, us here to get you out to SodaCon. Now, of course, we'd like to thank our sponsors out there today. Uh, of course, WRFB, Radio Free Britannia, where you can hear us throughout the day in replays to uh, catch up on what's going on in Shroud of the Avatar. Grimy Traders Auction House. You can go out to grimytraders.com and set up your own auction. It is free to sign up, it is free to list, it is free to buy. There is a cash auction house and there is a gold auction house. So if you want to deal in cash or in-game gold, pick an auction house and go check it out. GrimyTraders.com The official sponsors of NBNN, the Arkenshire and Markham Farms for your wholesale cotton reagents, ale and more. Located in Dawn's Keep, just south of Central Brittany, and also on the Shroud Marketplace for your shopping convenience. Our friends over at our home guild, the Britannian Mining Company, want you to come check out Market Road in Black Rock Cove for all your crafting and material needs. Located in the Quell region, right next to the Etzer Mine for your mining convenience as well. Shake a bite over at SodaMap.com. Soda Map is truth, so says Lord British. Heard him say it with my own two ears, I did. And introducing Soda Navigator, your mini GPS pop up map for getting you around Shroud and the Avatar. SodaMap.com, getting you there. Relicsbyril.com. 
Ben over at Relics by Rail is offering up all your licensed shrouded avatar swag. Everything from t-shirts to hats to patches, drinkware, bumper stickers like this beautiful NBNN I Love This Shit bumper sticker and more. Want to save yourself 10% when you check out? Use the promo code NBNN and save 10% when you check out at relicsbyreal.com. And last but not least, our good friends over at the Shroud Marketplace and also helping out with the Chemo Relief Fund. Uh, Shroud Marketplace for all your virtual bendable needs here in Shroud and Avatar. Check. We only got yeah, a don't forget. minute. So let's I know, I know. Shroud Marketplace, the place to go buy or sell anything Shroud of the Avatar related. Don't forget to go check out those auctions. All the fun stuff. The ones that are expiring today, you need to search for D4. D4 and find four for today's as long as What's D4? the D4? Day. Day four. four. That's right. That's right. And then after that, you, you really do uh, have had to have backed the GoFundMe account. And if you are interested in selling your items, don't forget that it's always free to list. Uh, just cl click on the registration button, then the vendor registration, and then you can start listing your items up for sale on Shroud Marketplace. Anything and everything game related can be bought or sold right. on shroudmarketplace.com. And that means it's time to thank the most important people around here and thank you guys, you guys, you guys. for watching out of Twitch, so YouTube, or this time, or listening on Radio for Britannia. RFB. We couldn't do the show without you guys, and we do it for you guys. So thank you. Thank we you. We love you thank all, you. some of you more than yes. others. You are number one, or, or is that one? Uh, what, that's that's, we, that's we, we that Zap. One? Our, our, uh, other Led Zap is number one. one. That's right. Oh, um, yeah, number you got one. the rest that's of right. it. Yeah, right. Right. Okay. <laughs> straight. Anyway, straight. we got to wrap it up, folks, and get <laughs> out of here. <laughs> Our time one. is done for today. I'm Laz. I'm Jack. And we are NBN. And stay tuned for more here on NBN. And we'll be back tomorrow with the weekend roundup of events right here in Shroud of the Avatar. Thanks for listening. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for watching. We'll see you all then, folks. Let's I love, it. I love you. Poop. Love it, love it, love it. I know I love to gently yank on your hair. No poop. You must whip it. Whip it go.